In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set a WireGuard client on MacBook or Mac OS. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we are going to configure WireGuard client on Mac OS or MacBook. I'm currently using MacBook Air. So click on installation. Well, first go to WireGuard.com and then click on installation and it should show you this page for mac os just click on download from app store and then it should help you get to your store i think for me it's no it was it was taking some time okay so now you can see i can see the wire guard here and i can simply click on download and it should start downloading okay it's downloaded simply click on open so for me because i previously had it and i uninstalled it and now i again reinstalled it and it's showing me the previous configuration what it took from the configuration i saved previously but you can just simply ignore this one disable so currently it's disabled we are going to create a, a brand new tunnel for this one okay so i'm gonna go into my firewall configuration okay in firewall under vpn i'm gonna go into wireguard and then peer generator it's really simple nothing different you have to do if you have chosen the endpoint previously for your another operating system it should show you up there like for me you can see it's showing up here i have hidden this information for my privacy because it's my actual wireguard server okay and then i'm going to name it for my macbook and then all the other information is saved you can see the ip address it already picked number two like the previous one we used for windows 11 so i'm just going to copy all this information and then click on the check mark and then click on apply and then again after installation wireguard you should see the wireguard icon on the top like here and i'm going to click on manage tunnels and then I will create a new one by just clicking on plus sign and I'm gonna add empty tunnel. And then here I will remove this information and then I'm gonna just paste this information here and just verify all the stuff like I have DNS, I have endpoint information, the port is correct. And then simply click on save after giving it a name like MacBook, no, I'm just gonna give it name, OpenSense. So as I have one for the PFSense, I can differentiate in between these two. So open sense, and then we have PFSense. I'm simply just going to click on activate. And now you can see it's activated and I can see data received and data sent as well. Again, I'm gonna go to speedtest.net just to verify the IP address. so this website is opening that means uh, the vpn is working it's like really simple and straightforward okay let let it show the information so we can verify it's my internet which is like really slow because some construction is going on in the area now you can see the ip address is starting with 216244 blah 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 which is actually the ip address of my wireguard tunnel so that's how you can connect the wireguard client on macbook i hope this video was informative for you if you like this video make sure to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming interesting videos thank you so much once again for stopping by i'll see you in the next video